Today we are hopping into 2020 for my opening. I haven't done a uh, a modern Pokemon opening in a long time. It's Hidden Fates, basically. Mostly because I haven't really been into Sword and Shield. But I gotta say, the new stuff, I'm kinda excited for. I'll be real with you. The main reason why is because it's Charizard inside the set. So first and foremost, I wanna say a big shout out to the Pokemon company. They sent me some goodies. I got a Darkness of Blaze booster box, and we got the Elite Trainer box. I think for the purpose of, uh, there's also, Two starter decks in here. But let me grab these so fast. But I'm probably not gonna open these just because I mean you already know what's inside of starter deck. You pause the video yourself and see. Bam. Pause. Unpause. And again, pause and unpause. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably just gonna leave these to the side. Maybe do a giveaway or something. I have no idea. But we're opening these now. I initially thought, should I, should I actually just split this opening and then do do like a, a booster box opening in the video and then do the elite trainer box? Nah, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go all in. And you know what? We're gonna be pulling some Charizards today. So as you guys already know, Elite Trainer Box, it comes with like, what, eight packs? Eight packs, uh, sleeves, yada, 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 stuff like that. I'm excited for this, but I'm mostly excited for the newer stuff. I'm mostly excited for the holiday set that's coming out uh, later in the year. Um, the Champion's Path, is that what it's called? That one has me excited. I'm like super amped for that just because, you know, um, you're gonna get the gold cards, which I am definitely going to pursue. I'm definitely going to buy myself a couple copies of the Golden Charizard Restaurant, and we're gonna have fun. All right, let's hop into this right away. This video might be a little bit longer than usual, but uh, hopefully it could be actually worth it. I'm not even gonna do the card trick. We're just gonna go right into it because and I don't want I don't want to be spoiled. I just want to see fire pop up right now. <sighs> That's not fire. Um, let's see what was in the back. Is it? Green? Yeah, it's a green code card. Alright, there's a code card to those who want it. Alright, let's put this to the side. Let me separate the code cards from the actual cards, because I don't want to have to clean it up later. Let's get into the goodies. Now, comment section below. Let me ask you guys, how have you guys, uh, I guess, been in regards to Darkness of Blaze? I assume at this point, you've probably seen a lot of openings on this. Um, do you like it? Do you not like it? What's, what, like, what's good about it? Um, do you want to see a Charizard hunt? I'm, I'm basically just trying to, like, ooh, yo, hold on, time out. Look, the hollow patterns, though? I can get behind that. I can absolutely get behind that. Also, I gotta say, these, these energy look actually pretty fire too. Um, but in the comment section below, I basically wanna ask you guys, are you guys down for like a Charizard hunt type of thing or not? Nah? Like, is that, do you, do you wanna see that? I mean, then again, if we actually end up pulling the Charizard today, there goes that. <laughs> Excuse me, I just ate, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I just ate, so I had to like clear my throat, but you're gonna probably not even see that because the magic of editing. All right, let's pop into the next one. Watch, of course, now because I, I was about to say, watch because I, I uh, had to do a cut right there. Watch you pull a Charizard right there, and the arrow's gonna be like, no, you clearly placed it in there. Nah, we don't do that around these parts. There you go. Um, because that defeats the fun. If you see me pull something hype, number one, you'll see the pack and view the entire time, but I, I wish I had the card to just kind of place in there. That would, that would uh, save me a lot of time. And um, the adventure of seeking out the card, that makes sense. Let's get into the next pack. Usually with Elite Trainer boxes, though, in the past, I always had, had pretty terrible luck. And I still got pretty terrible luck. <laughs> uh, you know what? I like doing it this way. I think I'm going to stop doing a card trick in general on my channel. I mean, I kind of haven't really been doing it in the first place. Uh, but I, I like just kind of like, you know, getting through the pack. I don't want to see what's in the back. If I accidentally see it's a green code card, it's like, ah, well, that ruins it. For example, oh, now we know we got some fire in this one. Now, had, had I done the card trick, I would have seen that from, from the start. But granted, I guess it doesn't really matter anyways because I actually ended up um, looking in the back anyways and spoiling it for myself. But the question is, what kind of heat will pop up? A Butterfree, a Butterfree V, actually. It's my first time actually seeing a Butterfree, we're well, not Butterfree, but a V card. Um, <laughs> there's so many jokes around that. So first I'm seeing a V card in person. So I think I put you in the back. We're not even gonna sleep yet because it's just a Butterfree. Okay, so I believe the, the V Max cards are like, uh, they have texture to them. Is that how it looks based on the pictures I've seen online? I definitely want the Charizard. I also want the, uh, the hyper rare Charizard that just came out in Japan, but I'm also not gonna pay those premium prices just because, well, I bought the Mewtwo last year because the Mewtwo itself was uh, never going to get printed here in the U.S. And I feel like uh, the Charizard is a bit more iconic. So because of that, they're going to definitely uh, release Charizard in Champion's Path, I believe. So that's why it's like, all right, if, if that Charizard was limited to J JP only, I probably would have bought it. But now I'm like, eh. I just care for the art. I don't care if it's not as limited as the Japanese version. I just want to add that to my collection, and that's going to be the goal when that comes out later this year. <clears throat> all right, let's see what we got. Give me something fire. Let's end it with some heat. I feel like the 
Oh, we got something. Look at that. Pokemon breed is nurturing. Nice. We'll put you right in the back. There you go. Yo, that was fire. Okay. I was about to say, we're definitely going to end this box without pulling anything. Anything in fire. But I guess we got a V card and we got the uh, the full art trainer. But it's a full art trainer. Like, is, is that is that as cool? If it's not a challenge, uh, a Reds challenge full art, you don't really care about it. Let's pop into the next one. This is also the last one before we hop into the booster box. Let's see what we got. Slow it down. We're going to get some heat right here. Heat. Ah, it's a top of cocoa. You know what? I pulled, what, four hits out of eight packs? That's not bad. That's actually not that bad at all. Okay, and then there's the last code card. Bam. But the real treat is going to be the booster box. Because in this booster box, we're guaranteed, like, what, one big hit? So let's actually just pop into this right now. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get. It's going to be a fire video. Literally, quite literally, it's going to be fire because we're going to pull that Charizard. Even if you pull a, a, a regular Charizard, I'll be excited. Because, like I said, this is my first time getting it. First time seeing a person. First, this is my first time opening Sword and Shield in general, which says a lot. Okay, we'll do it this way. Just do one at a time. Okay, I'm going to do the same method. I'm not going to do a card trick. We'll just get right into... Well, we just... There's something in here. We get right into it. Let's see what we got. Give me some heat right now. Ah, Corviknight. I actually like Corviknight. He's one of my more... Uh, more likable of the more uh, newer gem Pokemon that's out there. So I like Corviknight a lot. And in the back, we got Fire fire Energy and uh, pretty much nothing else. Okay, there's a code card if you want that. Bam. As always, it's not a rhyme style video without my allergies literally kicking in. I, I don't know what happens. Like, maybe it's because, I don't know, my body just knows. Uh, it goes into YouTube mode and maybe that adds stress to me or something. I don't know. But I swear, every single time I record any opening, that's when the perfect time uh, when um, my yeah. allergies kick in. Yeah! Second pack, yo! Shout out to my allergies. Shout out to my. You, you, you getting sleeved up? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You getting sleeved up? This is the second time now this happened. You guys remember when I'm uh, Unbroken Bonds came out? The Pokemon Company sent me a box, and and I happened to get that magical box that had the Charizard uh, and Reshiram inside it. And here we are again. I wish there was a hyper rare version of this in English, but you know what? This is just as good. Yo, this card is beautiful. This guy is... Look at this! Let's go! Yo, shout out to the Pokemon Company. You know what? I don't know how y'all do it, but every time now that you had a new Charizard, y'all picked a magical box and you sent it to me. Keep doing that. I'm all for it. And yo, the back is impeccable. This is a PSA 10. This is absolutely going to be a PSA. Look at that. Yeah, by the way, in person, this looks like... This looks a whole lot better. Also, people always ask me, how do you store cards once you, like, pull something fire? I always get a card saver. You slide it in nice and gentle. You just kind of like do this. Watch me bend it right now because I'm showing it on camera. And bam. Look at that. Now it's safe. And now it's ready to be sent off to PSA, Beckett, whatever I want. And yeah. I might, you know what? I might send this to Beckett. Because <clears throat> I feel like if I can get this as a black label, that would be incredible. Because I mean, look at the back. The back is flawless. The centering is great. Yeah. This is looking like a Beckett submission. You know what? Video's done. There's, there's a code card. <laughs> Video's done. There's no reason to keep going, right? <laughs> Is that the big hit of the box, or do I still get like a uh, like a rainbow rare? Like I said, I haven't seen that many openings for uh, Darkest of Blades, but <laughs> so much more that Charizard hunt series I was suggesting. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Let's see what else we got. Let's just go nice and easy. Ta-da! Nothing. Excel Gore, and then there is the code card. I'm excited, man. I, I'll be real with you, like, I got this about uh, three days ago now, um, and I've been putting off recording, mostly because I was trying to pre-record for my channel, for my main channel, as I always say, you guys are probably tired of me hearing say this, but I was trying to pre-record so I can have the weekend done, so I can just kind of chill, maybe do a couple streams and stuff, but then I had to, like, record my, uh, ooh, I why am I more excited about the, the regular rare Lugia, look at that, that is flames, yo, I gotta get that in reverse, I gotta get this in reverse, you can hang on in the back over here. You know what? You can hang in front of the Pokemon uh, nurturing Poké Breeder. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I was trying to basically get my entire weekend done so I can I don't have to record this weekend and stuff like that. And uh, I've been basically putting off opening this for like the past like three days. And um, I also have another box I got to open for 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 Yu-Gi-Oh, which is going to, it's going to get released at some point in the next couple of days. I got the new Rise of the Duels box as well, which I believe should already be out by the time you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I've been, I've been putting off op doing any kind of opening just because, like, I'll be real with you, I just kind of got lazy. Um, but I'm glad I did! <laughs> so 
I'm glad I did. That that was that was a surprise. That was a nice way to to start off Friday. And I think you're gonna be watching this on Saturday, maybe maybe Sunday. I don't really know. You're watching it this weekend. But that was that was fire. That was fire. I'm excited. Let's see. Uh, uh, you know what? Because I kind of got the hype card. Okay, well we know there's something hype in here. Let's see what we got. I think for the sake of this video not being 85 years long, I will speed through it a bit. Ooh. Yo, I really like the hollow patterns on, on, on these sword and shield cards. You know, as someone who's always talked about, uh, like how I got my second gen in the background, as someone's always talked about um, making hollows like actually enjoyable, again, and like, you know, it's not just being about the full arts and stuff like that. They stepped it up. They stepped it up. I like that a lot. Pokemon Company, keep doing that. Keep innovating. On top of that, they got they got the amazing rares as well. That, that that's coming out uh, in on the JP side. It's a green code card, so there's nothing in here. But we can always pull a reverse uh, Lugia, which we did. Where's the reverse at? Am I am I blind? Oh, it's right here. It was the the Phoebus. There is a code card. Um, but I'm excited to see that they're actually stepping it up again and and keep doing that. <clears throat> keep doing that. Whoops, my power of cards I'm trying to maintain is falling. Okay, let's get to the next one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just kind of speed through the rest of this box because, uh, again, this is my one complaint about booster boxes. Like, once you get the big hit, the rest of the box kind of sucks. All right, that's gonna be fire. Like I also said, I hate seeing the, the spoiler, but I'm looking for spoilers now. But I, I'm, I guess I'm just trying to kind of fire through the box a lot faster. All right, question is, is this going to be hollow or something full arty? It's something full arty. We got a Crobat V. Yo, I like the shine on these. Look at that. I would love to get the, uh, the Charizard V as well. Because, dude, these, like, this hollow pattern is nice. Like, you know what? You're going to get sleeved up as well, Crobat. You are definitely going to get sleeved up as well. Put you in here. I can't believe I pulled the Charizard, though. <laughs> On the first box, and then there's the code card. Bam. Okay. And put this here. Okay, let's get into the next one. We're about halfway through the first uh, stack. The first side of the box. Like I said, this is gonna be, this video shouldn't be that long. Because we are, we are going to kind of cheat. Yeah, see? Do that. Gothita. There's a code card. Mostly because the only reason why I'm doing this, you know, there's gonna be a couple people who are like, no, 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 slow it down. The reason why I'm doing this, I feel like in general, by now, there should be so many openings for uh, Darkness of Blaze. And you really, like, honestly, people just look for, like, the big hit. You know, they want to see, did you pull a Charizard or not, which we did. And um, they want to see what else pops up. Are these, like, every other pack? I wonder if, I wonder if the set is mapped. Let's find out. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Slow it down. Hey, Scizor, another one that I like. Yeah, see, you know what? Maybe I should have checked the entire card list because uh, Darkness of Blaze has a lot of my fan, like a lot of my fan favorites. A lot of my favorites. Fan favorites, my, a lot of my favorites. There's a code card. Let's put this back over here. Let's leave this bad boy up. Um, well, this is nice. This is nice. Now, the question is, we're going to be greedy here. Can we get the Charizard as well? The regular, regular, regular Charizard. Let's put this over here. There's so many cards around me right now. I just have towers and towers and towers, and they're all just kind of like falling apart. Okay, so if this one was uh, <clears throat> a hit, this one should be green. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm right. Green? Yeah, it's green. Okay, it's kind of fan through it, because there's really nothing fire that's going to be in here, right? Unless we get the reverse... No, it's just Civi Sage. I was going say, unless we get the reverse Lugia. Alright, now let's find out. Is this going to be a white coat card? Because you guys remember, when Sun and Moon first came out, <coughs> they had that as an issue where they mapped it. Maybe we're just getting lucky. Ah, oh, no, we just got lucky. That's what it was. Uh, let's go through this real fast. We got a Galarian Mr. Mime. And there's a code card. Okay. Well, that makes it a lot easier. And not have to worry about that now. Unless it's green, green, white. Let's find out. Is it possible that we got green, green, white? White. It's white. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Which means, hold on, I'm gonna do a test real fast here. We're gonna do a test real fast. There is the reverse, and then there's this type of code, which we actually already pulled. I'm going to pull two cards behind, or two packs behind. Let's pull two packs behind. One, two. In theory, if it is mappable, this will be a white code card. Like I said, I might just have that lucky box that's just uh, like this, but you never know. I mean, they've done it before. I don't know. <laughs> It's looking kind of suspicious. Let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. Oh, there we go. Yo, this is the best box. Let's go and watch. We have a Charizard behind us. Ah, Vicavolt. We're close. It was a it was a V card. I'm excited about this. Yo, Charizard King, are you watching? 
It's super off center though, so this is not gonna be a 10, unfortunately, but I like the reverse. The reverses in the set are fire. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's kind of dope. Dude, if I get a, if I get the regular Charizard in here as well, this is the perfect box. This is absolutely the perfect box. Also, yeah, there's a Vicavolt as well, who doesn't get sleeped up. Watch the Vicavolt be like super playable and it's like really expensive. It's like, Rhyme, no, you gotta. Okay, so in theory, these should all be green. Let's find out. I hope I pull another Lugia. Let's see, so it's green. I hope I pull another Lugia that's more better or centered. Let's see what we get. Uh, wait, that's a Starly. It's kind of hard to tell when it's uh, actually a reverse because of the lighting situation in my in my setup. So these all should be green. Let's see if I'm right. If I'm wrong, if you see a white code card, then it's not mappable. Huh? Not saying that it's mappable. I'm just saying like this is just I'm making my observation. I'm making my observation what I noticed as it was uh, going through there's a reverse. What's a code card? Okay. Again, these all should be green. If it's Green, green, white. These, because this is all that was left over. Ah, huh? I don't know. Slow it down. Oh, pants stage is the is the reverse, and there's that. Okay. And finally, let's see. This gotta be a green. This has gotta be a green. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's looking guy. It's looking kind of suspicious. And then we got a scavalier, a scavalier as the regular rare. Okay, let's start again. So, this should be a white code card. Let's find out. I don't know, man. It's looking suspicious. <laughs> let's slow it down. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Can we get the regular Charizard? Regular Charizard? Houndoom! I saw the red. I'm like, ah, we actually might. <laughs> we'll put you in the back. There you go. And then, of course, there's that. So, now I'm going to grab two from the back. One, two... So these are supposed to these are gonna be greens. This should be in theory a white code card. Let's see if I am right. If I am, again, this could be a weird coincidence. Ah! Disproven! It has been disproven. Okay, alright, alright. Well actually we don't have to go through this now. We can just kinda of do this. There is the reverse, Marie. And then there is the code card. Okay. Well now we know! <laughs> now we know. I guess I can go back to going down the the path, the list of um the order of operation, the order of these packs are placed. There's a white code card right there. Okay, this could be some heat. Again, let's try to get another. Is it possible to get another reverse Lugia? Oh. Melodic. Okay, so we just got regular hollow out of that. There you go. Let's put this over here. Should, do I, should I keep checking for uh, code cards? Uh, nah, I think that's taking away the fun of, the fun of it. Doing the beginning was like whatever. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep doing it for just the sake of this video not being three years long. How about that? There you go. Go right into the vanillish. Okay, there's that. And uh, see what we get. I believe we should, we should be getting a couple more hits in a box. Even if I don't pull the regular Charizard, I'm still fine. You know, this was heat. Bam! Green. Okay. And we got what was it? Oh, see, it's so hard to tell because from my angle right now, I can't see the hollowness at all. It's not too like really shiny where it pops. And there's that. Okay. By the way, I, I always ask this whenever I show code cards. You guys use these code cards, right? Because I never actually check them afterwards. So let me know down below if you have actually redeemed them and what you pull with them. Hopefully, to those who play uh, the TCG online, you're getting some heat off of that. Use my Charizard luck to get yourself a Charizard as well. What does this guy even do? Let's find out. So Claw Slash is 100. Ooh, that's actually pretty cheap. Only three uh, DCEs. G-Max Wildfire is discard two energies. This is basically like... Um, this reminds me of base set Charizard. Where you have to discard two energies and then you do a lot of damage. That's kind of crazy. Are VMAX are VMAX cards kind of snapped? Cause this this sounds kind of crazy actually. Just being that like, you discard two energies and then you with that much HP, you just kind of rail whatever's on the field. That sounds uh pretty powerful. There's a white cold card again. Let's see what we get. All right, slow it down. Slow it down. Pansier, Mareep, Reverse, or Care Blast, and Eternatus. V, yo! Again, I love the design. The the way these cards are like, this is fire to me. This is absolutely fire to me. And there's these as well. Bam! This is this is crazy. I still want to get more of these boxes just because again, these look just crazy. Like they look good. Maybe I should wait for like the next set. I'm thinking. I don't know. We'll see how it works out. We'll see how that works out. But uh, I'm definitely digging it. I'm I'm liking this a lot more than the regular GX designs. 
as well as the original EXs from way, way back in the day, which is weird saying way back in the day, just only like, what, three years ago? But hey, man, EX cards, they were they were in the era like two eras ago now, just think about it. Yeah, there's, EX cards are old now, oh my gosh, okay. Let's just see what it is, that's uh, green. Can we get, no, we cannot, just a weekly tough. Okay, and then there's uh, the code card. We should be getting at least, I wanna say, maybe two more hits. At least two more hits in a box. How many uh, V cards can you get in a box, by the way? Because I remember even GXs weren't, they weren't that heavy, heavily uh, in a box. Um, in the older sets, in like Sun and Moon and stuff. Spinarak, and then that. I guess I should check out a couple of videos. I might just do that. After I do my unboxing, I'm probably gonna go online and just look up uh, openings to see like how other people's box are. I believe Leonhard pulled a couple of these Charizard VMAXs. I think he did. Bam, hey, there we go. So let's see how uh, let's see how that fares with other content creators as well. Daryl Maka, Vanillax, Corviknight, holographic. I already pulled that earlier, so yeah. Bam. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get any. Like, I don't think we're gonna get any more uh, V cards. But I wonder if we can get a rain. Like, I wonder if, if that Charizard V Max is basically like the uh, the big hit. Like, can I still get a Rainbow Rare in the box because I pulled that? That's what I wanna know. Green. Oh God, it's the Rabia. Okay, nothing out of that. Bam. I like the fact that I pulled, like I said, I got the Lugia, I got the Charizard. This, this, this box is a win for me. The Charizard pack, this is gonna be, this is gonna be heat. I told you it's gonna be heat. Now the question is, is it gonna be the right fire? Is it going to be the Charizard V? Let's just wrap up the box right now. Let's wrap up the set with the best box ever with the Houndoom V full art, yo. Yo, so you can get two full arty uh, cards in a box, at least, at least, based on my experience. That's fire. That's fi I told you it's gonna be fire. Did I not tell you it's gonna be fire? I mean, it's technically it's dark. But no, it is fire. Actually, his fire type on here. Houndoom is uh, dark fire anyway. So there you go. Bam. We we'll put you. We we'll put you in front of. Uh, let's put you in front of the, uh, the hound. The Houndoom V. There you go. And there's the uncommons as well. All right. Let's see, we should at least get, sorry, one more. Like I said, I just ate, so I'm like <laughs> uh, processing all the food still. And Pharaohs, and then Flygon in the back, there you go. Let's see what else we can get. Can we end up with one more hype pull? It's a question every collector has. One more, possibly. <laughs> it's possible. Cupchu, Wimpod, Bunnelby, old PC. And Galissapod. I don't get Galissapod. Do people like Galissapod? And if so, why? That's a question I have for you. All right, here we go. I got five packs left. So this video actually ended up being not too long. Mostly because I'm like firing through it. It's another green code card, so we're just kind of fire through it again. Uh, Skarmory is the reverse. Bam. And then the last four. We'll open this one last. Oh, this is perfect. We'll end it on a Charizard, so let's go ahead and open up this guy first. Anything in the back? Nope, just green. Okay, as expected. Again, if I can pull... Oh, just Rose Tower as a reverse. If I can pull, potentially, just one more reverse Lugia, that'd be fire. I mean, I'm still going to get it graded, but it's not going to be a 10. That centering is, is just... Uh, centering kind of hurt me a little bit. Let's see what we got out here. Oh, maybe this is going to be the last hit. Maybe this is going to, first of all, check out, look at this Phoebus. I like that a lot. It, it gives me the old Magikarp days uh, vibes. I like that a lot in the Phoebus. I don't even really like Phoebus like that, but that's fire. Wimpod, Tiggersby, and then the Tournament VMAX Full Art. What a box, man. What a box. Unbelievable. I, I, like I said, I don't know what it is. You know, this is all obviously at random. Like I said, last time when they sent me a big box like this, it ended up having the, uh, in the very last pack, it wasn't even in like a box, I think it was just a bunch of loose packs. The very last pack ended up having the, uh, the Charizard. And that was just hype. I think I uploaded yeah, it upload on, on this channel, not my, my main channel. But here we are again! <laughs> this is, this is the, this is the, definitely the way to go. We got a green code card. Let's see what we got. Nothing out of this Pulte Geist is the reverse. And there's a code card. Last pack! Let's see if my boy Charizard can deliver one last bit of fire for us. One last. You know what? We're not even gonna do the code. We're not even gonna check in the back. We'll just kind of go right through it. Here we go. Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, Marie, 
Paris. Reverse is Trap Pinch and Talonflame. It's a green code card. Ah, there we go. You know what? Like I said, this box was. It couldn't be better. I mean, it could have been better if I got the Charizard as well. But look at this. Eternatus V, VMAX. We got the, the King himself. And of course, I got a reverse Lugia, which is like, I feel like pulling out one reverse card you want is like just as crazy as pulling out one card. Because that could have been anything. That could have been any common, any uncommon, any rare. We got the Lugia. Unfortunately, it is a bit off center. So yeah. I think I'm going to send these all to, uh, to Beckett. That's what I'm going to do. Look at that. It looks so dope. Pokemon Company, thank you. Much love. Um,. You know how to pick the boxes. Send me more. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.